Hi everyone, welcome. Today we're making a simple meal. It's sauteed squash over spaghetti. Super easy, super quick. You can make the spaghetti a day in advance. You can use leftover spaghetti. You can use leftover squash. As a matter of fact, I know I've said this before, but spaghetti is the perfect accompaniment to basically any leftover. You could throw leftover baba ganoush or hummus in spaghetti and it would probably be delicious. A little chickpeas, delish. So we're going to cut up the zucchini and then I'm gonna take it over and saute it off camera because at this point I think a lot of you all who have been watching have seen me saute a million times. But if you have any questions on sauteing, please let us know, reach out on Instagram or YouTube or via email and I am more than happy to do a video or get in touch with you and go through the steps. Let's get started. So we have a lot of beautiful zucchini from Food Forward today and we're just going to chop them up into pieces. So I took off the ends. I'm just gonna go over what this is. I'm gonna take off one end and then the other and then I'm going to cut it down the middle and then flat side down, place it down so it doesn't slip. And I'm gonna do two at a time because it's not very thick and my hands can still get a pretty good grip on it while I do this. And then I will slice. It doesn't have to be thick and I would not recommend it being too thick um, because it's just a quick recipe with a saute. And so the thinner you cut, the quicker it cooks and you'll really really appreciate how easy it is to make like a pretty meal in like five minutes so let's just make them not too thick because i think these slices would probably take about four minutes to cook because i also don't personally want them to be too soft so that is good and then i think we have enough of those. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to these little gourds. These, um, they're Mexican squash. They're in a gourd shape. I just think they're adorable. They sort of look like, like a ukulele, or like they're like a tiny. I don't know. They're they're very cute. Or a mandolin. Isn't that what they're called? I don't know. They look adorable though. And so these will add a different. A different shape, um, not so much a different texture, but it'll just add something a little extra to our pasta. A little bit bigger, so I'm only going to use one of these. Great. I'll put these back in this delicious basket. Okay, with those, I'm going to chop some garlic. I have three cloves here, and I think we want another one, just one more clove. So with the tip of my knife, um, I'm gonna get in there and just peel it off. And then we'll chop. Garlic is such a delicious little herb. If you could actually handle it and your partners or your children wouldn't mind it or your work colleagues, eating a raw clove of garlic a day is so good for you. It lowers blood pressure. It can help lower cholesterol. Um, it's an antifungal, an antimicrobial, so it helps keep you from getting colds. It's a great thing to do. I personally um, can't do it because nobody would want to be around me, but I know people that do and they are never sick, so I'm not sure if that's why they're never sick or if they just have really good immunities, but it's, it's definitely something to look into. You can Google the antibacterial properties of garlic and you will be astounded. So I don't need that big of a chop, I'm done with that. Um, and that's it, I'm gonna take it over, saute it and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I 
sauteed the zucchini I or, and squash. I used salt, pepper, olive oil, and garlic like I pretty much always do. And I had made some spaghetti already in advance. So we'll just add that to the bowl. And then we'll add a little zucchini in there. I'm gonna just mix it up while we go. There we go. Nice, easy, fresh pasta. So I did cook the spaghetti in advance, but it took about six to 10 minutes to make the entire, um, the entire saute. And then if you have some Parmesan cheese, add some. This would be so good with grilled shrimp or some chicken. So really the sky's the limit. Zucchini pasta with, well, squash and zucchini pasta with spaghetti.